dialysis clinics profit billions while you dread the needle. They told a patient with a GFR of 4 that his kidneys were dead. Yet, in exactly 20 days, his filtration rate exploded to 47. He didn't use Big Pharma's pills. He activated a dormant recovery mechanism using three specific breakfasts hiding in your kitchen right now. Warning, this isn't basic nutrition. This is a precise biological protocol that could save your life. You know the feeling exactly. That heavy brain fog that refuses to lift by noon. The exhaustion that seeps into your bones. That is not just aging. That is your kidneys screaming under a massive toxic filtration load. Big Pharma and the food industry love when you start your day with the standard American breakfast. Fried eggs and vegetable oil, processed bacon, and white toast. They call it a balanced meal. I call it a renal death sentence. When you combine oxidized fats with refined carbohydrates, you trigger an immediate spike in inflammatory cytokines and advanced glycation end products. Your compromised nephrons are forced to work at triple capacity to filter this sludge, creating a state of hyperfiltration that accelerates scarring. You are effectively cooking your kidneys from the inside out. We need to stop feeding the disease and start reprogramming your biology. We are switching you to a synergistic breakfast protocol. This is not about calories or dieting. This is about introducing specific biological codes that lower renal workload and trigger cellular repair. Number three is a powerhouse I call the vascular dilator. But before you reach for that cardboard box in your pantry, stop. If you are eating instant oatmeal packets, the kind that cooks in 90 seconds or comes with added maple flavor, you are essentially pouring wet cement into your kidneys. That is not food, that is glycemic sludge designed to spike your insulin and exhaust your already struggling filtration system. To repair your GFR, we are not just eating oats, we are deploying a specific biological agent known as sprouted or steel-cut oats. Here is the mechanism your doctor likely forgot to mention. The magic ingredient here is a soluble fiber called beta-glucan. When processed correctly, beta-glucan forms a unique gelatinous matrix in your digestive tract. This matrix doesn't just sit there, it acts as a molecular sponge. A study published in the American Journal of Nephrology showed that specific high-fiber interventions could lower proteinuria that is the protein leaking into your urine by up to 30%. That is a 30% reduction in the structural damage happening to your kidneys, simply by changing the viscosity of your breakfast. But it only works if you unlock the bioavailability of the grain, and this is where 99% of seniors fail. You cannot just boil these oats and eat them. Oats naturally contain a compound called phytic acid. Think of phytic acid as a security guard that locks up minerals like magnesium and zinc, preventing your body from absorbing them. If you have chronic kidney disease, you cannot afford to lose a single milligram of nutrition. So, here is the strict protocol you must follow to turn this food into medicine. First, the timing. You must soak your steel-cut oats in water for exactly 8 hours, preferably overnight. This soaking process triggers enzymatic activity that breaks down the phytic acid, essentially disarming the security guard and releasing the minerals for your body to use. Do not skip this step. If you rush this, you are just eating empty calories. Second, the thermal processing. Never microwave this. You want to simmer these oats on the stove at a low temperature. High heat destroys the structural integrity of the resistant starch that feeds the good bacteria in your gut. You want to slow simmer until they are tender but still retain a bit of a bite. Now, we add the catalyst. This is the synergy I talked about. You are going to add exactly one half teaspoon of salon cinnamon. 
Listen to me clearly, it must be salon cinnamon, often called true cinnamon. Do not use the cheap cassia cinnamon you find at the dollar store. Cassia contains high levels of coumarin, a compound that can actually be toxic to the liver and kidneys in high doses. You are trying to heal your kidneys, not poison them. Salon cinnamon acts as an insulin mimetic. It helps drive glucose into your cells without forcing your pancreas to overproduce insulin. Less insulin means less inflammation, and less inflammation means your kidneys get a break from the constant attack. You must never combine this protocol with cow's milk. Dairy is loaded with phosphorus, and for a damaged kidney, phosphorus is like pouring gasoline on a fire. Your kidneys cannot filter it out, and it will pull calcium from your bones, calcifying your blood vessels. Do not touch it. Use macadamia nut milk, which is low in phosphorus and high in healthy fats, or simply use filtered water. This combination soaks steel-cut oats, low-heat simmer, salon cinnamon, and absolutely no dairy creates a vascular dilation effect that lowers the pressure inside the glomerulus, giving your kidneys the breathing room they need to start regenerating. But this is just the foundation. We need to move to the next level of defense. The vascular dilator opens the highways, but if the destination is on fire, increasing traffic means nothing. Oats help the blood flow, but if your kidney tissue is currently inflamed, that blood is just carrying more oxidative stress to a dying organ. This is where most natural remedies fail. They stimulate the organ without protecting it first. That is why we must introduce the second biological weapon in our arsenal, the inflammation shield. We are talking about wild blueberries. And I need you to listen to the word wild very carefully. I am not talking about the large, plump, watery blueberries you find in the fresh produce section. Those are cultivated highbush blueberries. They have been genetically selected for size and sugar content essentially turning them into nature's candy. For a kidney patient, they are practically useless. You need the tiny, gritty, frozen berries often found in the freezer aisle. These are lowbush blueberries. Because they have to survive in harsh, rocky soils with little water, they develop an incredibly thick skin to protect themselves. That skin is where the medicine lives. The compound we are harvesting here is called anthocyanin. In cultivated berries, the anthocyanin content is diluted. In wild berries, it is concentrated. When you ingest this specific type of antioxidant, it does something remarkable. It has the ability to cross cellular membranes that other nutrients cannot touch. In chronic kidney disease, your nephrons are under constant bombardment from free radicals. Think of them as microscopic shrapnel tearing through the delicate filtering mesh of your kidneys. This creates scar tissue, or glomerulosclerosis. Anthocyanins act as a shield, neutralizing the shrapnel before it hits the filter. But you can destroy this entire effect if you prepare it wrong. Here is the strict protocol for the inflammation shield smoothie. First, temperature control is paramount. You are going to blend these frozen wild berries, but you must not let the blender run for minutes on high speed. High speed blending generates heat, and heat degrades the delicate enzymatic structure of the anthocyanins. Pulse the blender. Keep the mixture cold. Second, the synergistic activator. You cannot just eat the berries alone. To maximize the absorption of these phytonutrients and to tackle the systemic inflammation, you must add exactly one ounce of raw walnuts. We use walnuts for a very specific reason. They are the highest nut source of alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, a plant-based omega-3. When you combine the anthocyanins from the berries with the ALA from the walnuts, you create a biochemical reaction that drastically reduces C-reactive protein, CRP, 
markers in the blood. High CRP is a hallmark of kidney failure. This combination forces it down. Now, for the warning that could save your remaining kidney function. The never warning. When making this smoothie, you will be tempted to do what every fitness influencer tells you to do. You will be tempted to add a scoop of protein powder. Do not do it. Do not add whey. Do not add soy isolate. Do not add pea protein powder. When you have a GFR below 60, your kidneys lose the ability to process high loads of isolated protein. Dumping 20 grams of liquid protein into your system first thing in the morning induces a state called hyperfiltration. You are essentially revving the engine of a car with a cracked transmission into the red line. It might feel good for an hour, but you are causing permanent structural damage. The protein from the walnuts is enough. The antioxidants from the berries are enough. Trust the protocol. Do not try to outsmart your biology with Jim Bro science. By keeping this shield pure, you stop the inflammatory fire, allowing the oats we mentioned earlier to finally do their job. But even with blood flow and protection, we still have to deal with the toxins already trapped in your blood. That brings us to the number one most powerful food on this list. The vascular dilator opens the road. The inflammation shield puts out the fire. But number one is the construction crew that rebuilds the house while you sleep. This is the regenerator. This is the exact meal that pulled a patient back from the brink of dialysis, taking a GFR of 4 up to 47. We are moving beyond simple nutrition and activating a backup generator for your filtration system using cauliflower but only if you follow a protocol that feels almost like a laboratory experiment. Most doctors look at a failing kidney and see a dead end. Biohackers look at the body and see redundancy. Your body has a built-in compensatory mechanism. If the kidneys cannot filter toxins, the gut and the liver can step up to handle the load, but only if you signal them to do so. Cauliflower is the signal. It is packed with sulfur-containing compounds called glucosinolates, specifically one called sulforaphane. This compound activates phase 2 detoxification enzymes in the liver, effectively scrubbing the blood of urea and nitrogenous waste before it ever reaches your struggling kidneys. It is literally an external dialysis machine made of fiber. But here is where you have been wasting your money. If you buy cauliflower, chop it, and immediately throw it into a hot pan, you have killed the medicine. You must follow the 40-minute rule. When you chop cauliflower, you break the cell walls, releasing an enzyme called myrosinase. This enzyme needs time to react with the glucosinolates to actually create the sulforaphane. If you apply heat instantly, you destroy the enzyme before it does its work. You must chop the cauliflower and let it sit on your counter, exposed to the air, for exactly 40 minutes. Set a timer. Do not touch it. You are letting the chemistry happen. Once the timer goes off, we move to the catalyst. You are going to saute this cauliflower hash with crushed garlic and diced onions. We need the allicin from the garlic to lower your blood pressure systemically taking the mechanical pressure off the glomerulus. You must use extra virgin olive oil. Never, under any circumstances, use canola, soybean, or vegetable oil. Those seed oils are industrial lubricants that cause inflammation. We want the polyphenol from the olives. Cook this on medium heat. Do not char it. We want it tender, not burnt. To make this a complete meal that supports regeneration without stressing the kidneys, you add the final piece of the puzzle, egg whites. Two boiled or poached egg whites. The yolk is too high in phosphorus for you right now. 
The white is pure albumin, the gold standard of protein that your body can use without creating toxic waste. This combination, the activated cauliflower, the allicin-rich garlic, the olive oil, and the clean albumin creates a metabolic environment where your GFR has no choice but to rise. You are taking the burden off the kidneys and letting them rest and repair. You now possess the exact biological blueprint that reversed a terminal diagnosis. But I need you to understand one final concept. The synergistic effect. These three meals are not a buffet. You cannot pick and choose. The oats open the vascular pathways. The blueberries shield the tissues from the oxidative stress caused by that increased flow. The cauliflower activates the liver to offload the heavy toxins so the kidneys can finally breathe. If you skip one, or if you ignore the temperature rules, the entire chain reaction breaks. You are back to square one. Your kidneys are not dead. They are not shriveled raisins. They are simply dormant. They are hibernating because they have been suffocated by decades of inflammatory food and medication toxicity. We are not treating a disease here. We are removing the poison so the body can do what it was designed to do. Heal. I am not asking for a lifetime commitment yet. I am asking for 21 days. 3 weeks. Follow this protocol with military precision. No cheat days. No just a little sugar. Do it exactly as I described. Then, go schedule a blood panel. I want you to walk into your nephrologist's office, slap that lab report on the desk, and watch their face when they see your creatinine drop and your GFR climb. Make them explain it. They will not be able to, because it defies their profitable model of decline. Now, I have a question for you. Be honest. What did you eat this morning? Was it a slice of white toast? A bowl of sugary bran flakes? A glass of store-bought orange juice? Comment below. Tell me exactly what your current breakfast is, and I will reply to tell you exactly how it is destroying your filtration mesh. Do not hide your bad habits, expose them so we can fix them. And finally, share this video. Send it to a friend, a parent, or anyone who is scared of the dialysis machine. Knowledge is the only medicine your doctor will never prescribe you. Let's prove them wrong.